Hello everybody and welcome back to Tom's computer channel. In this episode we take a look of this nice green Game Boy Color. This Game Boy Color is from a friend of mine and had some issues. Over the years the display is a little bit dim and it's a little bit dirty. So let's take a look and we will see what we can do. So at first we make a nice look around, if you see it's a little bit dirty, the display is a little bit scratched. So the, this back from the uh, battery compartment is missing. I think it, li it lies in the drawer of my friend. And now let's see, take in some AA batteries and the Game Boy Classic game. It's a Kung Fu Master. The sound is a little bit low, but it's a common issue from the Game Boy Pocket. So you see, the start button doesn't work. I think it needs a nice clean too. So let's turn it off and put it apart. In this case, we have to remove these screws, they are tri wings. A little bit out for the focus issues. And when we look here, there are A little bit residue from the battery. So we put it apart and clean this too. For the a little bit dim display we have here a potentiometer and we can try to lighten this up. This we need a screwdriver tip and a PCU. This thing runs on three volts. Put it in. Put carefully the game in. Turn this on. Nice. Too white. Get a smaller tip. It's a little bit better, so let's go to the next point. So cleaning this up, we need 
to put out some Phillips screws. Oh, too, too big, too big. Oh. Yeah, three screws here. This three capacitors are. This three capacitors are good. Now we must remove. Flex cable from the display. So we have to open this up and put it carefully out. And now it's free. And if you see here. Uh, there's a little bit dirt from s on, on, on the start and on the B button so we can clean this up and then it should work and the rest of the parts we clean too I let the display inside and uh, clean the outer shell carefully. So, so. let's try to clean. The PCB with some isopropyl alcohol So, and now Let's clean the case and remove this battery contact. So it's time to clean the case. So we put the PCB on the side. Before we can clean, we should remove the shielding on the back plate. And then we took some soapy water and then we can clean this up. I think I remove the metal part from the battery too.
So, put this in. And this part too. Now we come to the difficult part, we must clean the front shell, but I don't want to remove the display. So all are clean, so we can let this dry. Now we come back to the PCB on the back side and the battery contact. There are the battery leakage. So I solder this contact out and clean this with some white vinegar. There we can get the PCB holder. We get some solder and solder wick. And a little bit of flux. That not seems want out. So I try to remove it without desoldering. I want to damage this, so I try to clean this without disordering.
We use white vinegar for this process. Well, the most part is gone. And we clean it with some IPA. And now it's clean. Let me just add some soda on the back. Oh. Now it's ready to go. Next is reassemble. So now all is clean and dry, and so we can start reassembly. So we complete and now let us give this thing a try. And if you see it, it works fine.
Done. Finish. So, that's it for this video. If you see, this little piece of hardware is almost like new. So you can make other mods like display mods or something else. You can put this in a, in a custom case. There are many many ways to make this modern. But for all they want uh, this Game Boy original. It's the best way. It's not a lot of work. It's not difficult. And so this Game Boy goes to his happy owner. And I will see you next time. Bye.